Hey everybody, one of the GMG reviews. Today I'm taking a look at Battletech Essentials, uh, which was announced yesterday um, from Catalyst Game Labs and is going to be a Target exclusive. That's pretty exciting for Catalyst, um, as obviously if you live in the United States, Target is kind of everywhere. Um, and it's kind of, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it to my Canadian friends. It's like the difference between going to or even to other, other countries. It's like the difference between The Gap and Banana Republic, if that makes sense to like Target and Walmart. <laughs> it's like a slightly higher big box store quality. Um, so that's really exciting for them. Uh, and this box is being made exclusively for them and is designed to give you sort of like a uh, uh, like first experience into Battletech. And this copy was kindly given by Randall um, when I saw him up here in Canada for the uh, crowdfund like 24 hour, the big live stream thing we were doing. Um, to check out and so I figured I'd give it a review today. So what's in the box? What's in the box? Well uh, Everything you would I think want to know early on if this is your first time uh, jumping into Battletech for 25 bucks It's got an MSRP of $24.99 um, And it's it's kind of only five bucks, but I'll show you that in a minute uh, The box contains the quick start rules for Battletech essentials um, No alpha strike cards, but you do get the character pilot cards for all the characters in the novella that comes in here, which is kind of a like heist story. You realize that um, as it sort of describes what's going on on Solaris 7, which is this like game planet that shows basically like the Inner Spheres UFC is mech combat. Um, and these pilots in like low level competitions are running like a grift. So I don't want to spoil the story too much, but basically they, they get way too much attention. Their grift is about to be outed. Uh, and hilarity ensues, and that's kind of the story of this box set. You get two new miniatures, uh, you get a repose rifleman uh, and a very cool new centurion with like wolverine blades. Uh, some dice, you get your um, stripped down intro cards, uh, like record sheets for the mechs, which I love because they get rid of like critical hits and heat, which I think is the most like, it's, it's two extra layers of management that for your first time playing Battletech, you just want to blow stuff up. It's really satisfying to do so. I love that that's what the key focus is in here. Uh, you get cardboard standees for additional mechs, uh, for terrain, for the two sides of the battle map, and then you get a battle map as well. So let's crack it open and take a look. Very cool box art. Obviously, here is Slayer 7. This is in the Steiner, Col um, Steiner Stadium, not Coliseum. The Coliseum is like the huge one. This is like a level below, right? So this is the slightly, slightly smaller Coliseum. No, Col not Coliseum. I, I can't remember which is which. One's bigger. Um, you get your record sheets. You get these two lovely new max. So you can see here is the uh, new uh, Centurion with this like, I think it's a PPC. No, it's a AC-10 actually, sorry. Uh, he's got an AC-10, an LRM-10, two medium lasers, and then this cool like melee weapon on his arm there. He's got this cool little like Wolverine claw. Uh, you get a reposed rifleman, which is kind of doing like a torso twist, which I really like. I believe it's a 3N. That's little auto cannons and lasers, uh, and here's the record sheets for them. Uh, so you get record sheets for obviously these these key characters. Um, this is one of the two protagonists. History of them. Uh, yeah, large lasers, AC fives. That's what they have. The rifleman, and it was a three N. Look at that! I'm learning Battletech, guys, in real time. And then two of the characters are Wolverine six R, my favorite Mac, and I love this paint job where it has like the Wolverine face on its chest. I think that's so cool. Uh, and then this Thunderbolt in, I, I can only describe as like candy heart colors, <laughs> such a weird thing. And so I said this was kind of only five bucks. You get a thanks for playing coupon in here, um, which is uh, a direction to the online store for Battletech for a $20 coupon. So just input the code. Obviously I've covered the code up so you suckers can't steal it, but there's a $20 coupon in here for checking out the game, uh, which means this box is technically only five bucks and you can go grab yourself something cool and extra. Uh, there's your Mech Warrior cards for Justin Chang, Anya Terrell, Gray Norton, and Chakamobudo, who are the characters um, in this novella. Your sweet, sweet dice for some 2 6 rolls. And then this is really important, and I love that this comes in here. This is the instant guide to the Inner Sphere. Um, and it shows kind of the Game of thrones -y lay of the land uh, for Battletech. Um, and the major houses that are in here. Um, and what's cool is that's gonna come up later on when you get into the actual rule books. So the actual rule books we have, Battletech Essentials, right? The quick start rules. And again, it focuses on everything except for, that's so the core rules for Battletech with everything except for um, heat and critical hits, 
which again, I think really streamlines the game. Um, some Beyond stuff, so like what you can do next, which is the Game of Armor Combat, the big eight mech um, box set, uh, technical readouts, and then all the extra fiction and stuff too. Quick ref on the back, which is nice. Again, not worrying about anything except for the core rules. And then you get additional rules for playing on Solaris 7. So all of this, um, these maps and terrain that come with, you can see the extra mechs, you get the Thunderbolt and the Wolverine in addition to standees for the um, Rifleman and the Centurion. You get raised markers for uh, the map for the, um, the what call it, the, uh, the arena. And then on the, the side here, you can see they're all lowered. And you roll a D6 to see which one comes up and comes down. And then you get um, the outdoors ones too for the, the courtyard. Steiner Stadium, that's where it is. Steiner Coliseum is the big one. Um, and every turn, one of the walls comes up and goes down. So you get its special rules. And the Patchworks, which is the, uh, the former state of the Hartford family, um, where battle mechs are allowed to go and like train and fight. And its special features are this like hard packed gravel. Um, if a mech enters hard packed battle, you roll 2d6 and a plus one, it requires additional movement point to enter. Or 10, 10 or more, it's uh, uh, extra movement point to enter. So basically, sometimes it's open ground, sometimes it isn't. And then you get stables, and I think this is so cool because it, it gamifies battle tech a little bit, right? It takes out the idea that anyone's dying, it makes it a little less war-driven, and I think for a product that's gonna be sitting in target where it might be your first experience, it kind of lightens the mood of battle tech slightly from like a, you know, everything's bad sort of space opera to, yeah, we also watch giant robots fight and it's kind of like mid, late 90s, er, er, it's, it's um, what is it? It's, uh, it's attitude era <laughs> WWF where like you've got different like affiliations, you know what I mean? Like Raw versus SmackDown. So you have that one for each house basically. Merrick has the Bromley stables, Steiner has the Overload stables, the Silver Dragon stables are House Karita, Davian has the Starlight stables, and Tandrick stables are the House Lau. And they all get a special rule. So if you wanted to recreate your own set of pit fighters in Slayer 7's like uh, Steiner Stadium, you could pick one of these stables to be part of and your mech is now part of that affiliation and you would fight under these rules. So like Bromley stables for instance, you get plus one initiative, uh, but you have to make the, the addition to do it um, like before you roll, and it's only twice per game. Uh, overload stables is minus one to hit if they're at short range, but plus one to hit when they're at long range, because they like they like duck and dive. Uh, the silver dragons get plus one to hit when they're in woods, because they get to hide. The starlight stables um, are plus one to hit if they expended more than three movement points that turn. So as long as they're moving, they're always plus one to hit. And the tandrick stables um, are minus one to hit when they're at range four uh, or less. However, they prefer shorter battles. So they, um, if the game goes uh, more than six turns, they're minus one initiative. So they're, they're good at brawling up close, but the longer the game goes, they run out of gas. And then we got our cool little battle maps. So you're just ready to play right out of this box. So you have, again, lots of hardback gravel here in the outdoors map. And I love that these maps are so matte. They're printed on a nice matte paper. So you can see even like under my studio lights, they don't reflect very much. And then this is the Steiner Stadium. And you can see here the different wall sections. So like each turn, a different wall is gonna come up and you flip the token to see which one is there. Uh, and don't be on the walls when they go up and down. Don't stand on the walls, it could be bad. <laughs> you will get flipped over and get concussed. So that's it, 25 bucks, but really kind of five bucks because you get a coupon in it, which I think is super cool. Um, and everything you would need to start playing Battletech like out of the box. Um, I think some good decisions are made here. Again, gamifying it slightly, making it lighter. Uh, you could have it go to a younger audience, it would still be cool. There's enough additional info in here about like the universe and stuff to still make it like compelling as a read. And yeah, and exciting that it's gonna, I think, show more battle tech to more people more often because of where it's gonna be landing. So, again, if you're just a Battletech fan and want these miniatures, go get the box at Target. Go to Target, grab one, because you're going to get two Battle Mechs for basically five bucks, because you can just go in the online store and use your coupon, um, and check out something else too on top of it. Grab some novels, grab a technical readout, grab some additional force packs, you know what I mean, to go play with. Uh, and if you are, I mean, if you're watching this video and you've been interested in Battletech, when this comes out in Target, this is a great intro. Uh, I think this, of like, compare this to the beginner box, I will play this with my kids because of the gamified arena um, and the fact that like there's little like faction rules in here. It gives them like a it gives them a story to grab onto. And if they wanted to paint up any of the battle mechs that come in here, I could even use the other technical readouts for roughly the same tonnage mechs that came in the other starter boxes. But we could play like a fun multiplayer arena game where guys get blown up and you're you're having a great time. So this is I think this is probably one of the best demo boxes 
design-wise uh, that they've done. The other ones are good, but they require you to kind of be bought into the drama. The drama in this one is instantly explainable. You are a down on your luck pilot in Solaris 7, trying to win rich so you can either get off, retire, whatever you want to be, like get off the planet, leave, go somewhere else, and and like, and and or or just be the most famous bottleneck warrior of all time. Um, and to like that pitch is so much quicker to like a new potential player than here's this star spanning 300 year you know techno drama of like all these crazy houses and all of their like all their stories and stuff like that. You can't. You can't instantly grasp this, both like the scope of BattleTech from that description, but that's still in here. And also, the main plot hook I think is compelling and fun. And the novel's really cool too. I, I just realized the novel I don't have it in the box because I gave it to Cash to read. He's super excited to read it. So yeah, I'm excited for this. I think this is gonna be really cool. I think this is going to be a fun um, box for existing players, just because they can grab the tune of BattleTech basically for five bucks. Um, and have this great little like party game they can play. Uh, and I think for the potential of attracting new players, this is a great box because it has like a, a, a perfect plot hook basically um, and tons of like multiplayer potential. If you brought this home, you got three kids, they can all play with standees and battle mechs and it's super easy to grasp the rules. You know what I mean? It's just a, it's a point and click mechs at each other game with fun random drama of like the spawning walls and stuff. So. Got any catalyst? I'm excited for this. Uh, look for I don't know what the actual release date is. It'll probably be in the announcement, um, uh, which I haven't seen up to this point because I'm obviously recording this before the announcement. But it was super good to get to check out. I'm gonna paint these. Um, I can't decide if I want to paint them in these colors or if I want to roll them into an existing army. I'll let you guys in the comments tell me what I should do with them. And yeah, and we'll we'll probably throw down some 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 I guess like. W or WWF like a, uh, like early night or late nineties early two thousand style um, uh, mech combat in the future on this uh, this cool little train feature. I might even like it'd be cool to make the walls. I could probably pretty easily make the walls to have them like physically go up and go down. I might do that too. We'll see. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Till mash. Have a Hey there. I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games all recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look to the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Game of Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.